Hi everyone, my name is King IV, and this is Introduction to Enterprise Guide. So, the, the, about these lessons, so we're using Enterprise Guide 7.1. I teach audit analytics slash fraud detection analytics and business analytics at the University of Waterloo. And these videos are meant to be short instructional videos, aren't meant to provide a full explanation on why we're performing these tasks, but really to help you uh, get off the ground. If you haven't seen my other SaaS video series uh, where I introduce how to use base SaaS and as well how to use statistics in base SaaS, then I recommend that you check these out, check those out before you watch uh, these videos. So about these video series, uh, there's going to be six different videos. This video is what is Enterprise Guide. Uh, we're also going to talk about importing data and reading and handling different data sets. We're going to talk about tasks, which are really useful, summary, and then we split query builder into two parts just because there's a lot to cover. I didn't want to make a, a really long video and allow you to get to the portion that you want. So let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see here when you open an enterprise guide, you won't have all these different uh, tables, tasks, summaries, filters that I've already created, uh, but this is just meant to show you what it would look like. Here we have the project tree and then here I have the process flow that we're currently looking at. You have things like da the data sets, SAS data sets, they look like this. I uh, think different functions and features like summary statistics, filter and sort. Uh, you can as well rename them if, the, if you want them to, to be called something specific like summary to XYZ. You can add things like for example, like notes to this is where I ran the summary. You can do things like like that and you can either and you can as well change change the options that are available to them uh, to change their appearance. Uh, but they're they're pretty useful. So lots of lots of different options available here. Uh, then we move down to to this uh, this window. You'll see the first one is tasks. Uh, to be honest, I don't use this section too often, mostly because I use tasks when I open up a data set or I go to the task window here. But you can see it follows a lot of similarities up here. You can add favorites, you can create graphs here, uh, pretty useful. Uh, the SAS folder I don't use too often, uh, but then the server, server section is pretty useful. In this case, I'm when you're using enterprise guide it's really just an interface and the interface then interacts with where you've installed base sas and in this case i have my base sas and my enterprise guide both running on the same device uh, but you can have your base sas on a server so you can take advantage of the quicker processing speed higher memory uh, in and out speed uh, or in and out throughput and then uh, the prop manager, we won't be covering prop managers, but prop managers are really great if you want to get parameters, uh, inputs from, from your users as they, as they run the enterprise guide process flows or project. And then this last section, data exploration history, we're not going to cover uh, in these lessons, but perhaps we're going to cover it in an intermediate version. The next area is this process flow area and this area is is really where you're going to do most of your work or or work out of and you'll see here if i had another process flow so if i were to add a new one new process flow you'll see here i can navigate between the, the different process flows uh, so if i want to run it you can see here I can run this particular process flow or I can run the entire project. If I had another process flow, it'd also run it as well. But if I were to click here, it would run just this process flow called auto exec. So when I click run, you'll see that these different areas highlight and are yellow. And when they turn green, that means that they're running. And then once they're unhighlighted, uh, then it'll execute. And uh, when uh, when you, for example, double click here, you can see the code that was used to generate uh, this code. So you'll see things like proc SQL, which is actually pretty common to create new tables, especially within within uh, Enterprise Guide likes to use as opposed to data steps. So you can see here they're using proc means and the data you see where they're pulling the data, which is this new table that they've created. 
you'll see all these different parameters that are available, uh, the different the different types of calculations that's being performed. If you're familiar with base stats, this is all uh, pretty straightforward. And then there are, are uh, things like, for example, the task task window where you can run different functions and features that are available to manipulate your data, do some analysis. Uh, the more common way that I like to do it is double click within a, a data set. And then you have basically the various task options right here, filter and sort, where you can filter your data and then as well sort it or do one or the other. Query builder, so if you want to do things like joins, uh, do some calculations, create new data fields, uh, subset your data at both the summary and detailed levels, uh, that's a great option as well. Where if you want to show or hide some of your data sets here, I wouldn't say that's too common to be performed uh, right now. These uh, this data one is, is a very powerful one. We won't cover this as much in, in this particular section, but you can do things like append, append tables, sort tables, transpose, split stack, create, select random samples from, from your data set using a number of different options, import different uh, data sets or files from, from other stats software. Uh, the describe one allows you to do create lists, which basically allows you to like create tables if you want to limit the number of columns in your in your table, or create reports uh, just so that you can show only the important information. Summary and summary statistics, we're going to be covering them in detail. That allows you to do some analysis at uh, really a grouped level. Uh, graphs we won't be covering, but they're really useful as well. And the analysis or analyze we're not going to be covering as well, but maybe we'll create a, a enterprise guide stats version if you if you want to if you want to export your data uh, then you can either export it as a step in your in your project so this is really useful if you have a series of different steps in your in your data set and you want after it's executed to export the data then this is a really great way if you just want to export you can do it here and then the the send to if you want to email your the data set or or the project then you can certainly do that here so that's all we're going to cover in this video. In the next video, we're actually going to be starting to use Enterprise Guide. So make sure that you have it, have it installed and it's working properly. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.